Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we're taking a look at the Lego Batman Movie Minifigure Accessory Pack. This consists of 31 pieces and includes three minifigures. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. So here we have it. We have our commissioner and two police officers along with the bat signal. Let's take a closer look at each of these individually. So this bat signal is a fairly simple but effective build. Uh, just a few pieces. This guy can angle up and down. There's a nice domed piece there on top of a printed uh, bat symbol. And you can just imagine that this is like a searchlight that you can aim up and down and spin around. It's uh, not as elaborate as some of the other bat signals we've seen, but it does the trick. And as part of this uh, accessory kit, it's, as far as I know, the cheapest way to get it. So, not too shabby. Alright, so our first officer appears to be a motorcycle cop. He's got a helmet on. He's carrying some binoculars. He has a nice print on his sleeve there. The front of his uh, torso has a radio. Looks like some lieutenant's insignia on his collar and a badge. No print on this arm. And... GCPD, Gotham City Police Department, is on his back along with the wire for the rest of his radio. His face is a pretty nice print. He's got a bit of facial hair there and a wry smile, a little bit of a grin there. Um, no alternative face for this guy, but uh, pretty good overall. Black pants, black gloves. Yeah. He'll do the trick. So next we have this other police officer. He's in a little bit more of uh, formal attire, it looks like. He's got some brass buttons on his jacket. Um, he has some blue pants. The uh, print kind of continues down a little bit. Um, he's got dual molded legs to make out those black boots. He's carrying a pair of handcuffs. He has the same badge insignia on his arm. His back print is a little bit different. Instead of having the GCPD just has kind of a, a uh, regular black, or I'm sorry, blue jacket back print. Um, no alternative face on this guy either, but he does have uh, a little bit of facial hair, a uh, bit of a goatee it looks like. Uh, overall, not a bad figure. And our final figure is this one. I think it's supposed to be a commissioner, maybe it's just a detective, uh, but she has uh, one of the agent's pistols. She's got a really nice print on her torso with a holster. Um, she's got a good print on the waist with that belt and it goes down onto the pants with that uh, badge ID. Uh, I like her hair piece quite a bit. She's got a little bit of a scowl on her face. Um, just a little bit of print on the back to show the waistline and the rest of that holster. Um, no alternative face, um, but you can get a better good look at the one that she has, and there we go. All right, there we have it. Bat signal and three figures. Retail for about ten dollars, I believe. Not bad if you can still find it. Um, when I saw this, it was uh, on clearance, so um, it may be available in the aftermarket. But in any event, not a bad way to flesh out your superheroes collection or just to have as police officers in your Lego city. Anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you happen to have your own Lego channel, we'd love to come and visit you. So leave the title of it down in the uh, comment section and we'll come check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching. Take care.